Um, I mean, ultimately, it's to bring awareness and make people, you know, realize what's really going on in this country. There are a lot of things that are going on that are unjust, people aren't being held accountable for, and that's something that needs to change. That's something that, you know, this country stands for freedom, liberty, justice for all. And it's not happening for all right now. But also what makes us, uh, I mean, it's strong, uh, makes us, it's, it's powerful, it makes us so uh, unique and unified is that we have had so much hardships in our life, either from personal experiences or, or loved ones or reading history or seeing videos, Rodney King, uh, you know, or, or just just being a part of just the communities that you're in where you just racially profile from the time you come out of the womb. It just goes to show the police policing system was built against black people, you know, black and brown people. And that's the reason those reactions are different. That's the reason someone can walk or run or bust their way through or whatever into the Speaker of the House office and put their feet on the desk like they're sitting at home on their couch and nothing happens. Um, Stop calling them people protesters. They're terrorists. They're not protesters. Protesters is what you saw when we saw 500 National Guard members standing on those same steps when there were black and brown people saying, we just want to be treated equally. That's a protest. Hello, you all. I am Rainisha Johnson, a senior major in mass communication. My task today is to go around campus, asking HBCU students and others questions to see how well educated they are with the Black Lives Matters movement. So without further ado, we're just going to head right on into it. My name is Quentin Henderson. I'm a senior mass communication major at Lane College. Hello, Quentin. I have a trivia question for you. What is the Black Lives Matters goals? Is it A, to shelter Black Lives Matter? B, to make the education system more public to Blacks? C, the focus is to end police of brutality to black people, or D, have full living of employment? I'll say C. That is correct. <laughs> my name is Tank. My, my major is sociology, and I'm a freshman. Okay, so today I have a question for you for the trivial Black Lives Matters question. Mm -hmm. And the question is, hashtag Black Lives Matters was created by how many activists? A being one, B being three, C being two, and D, it was founded by the media. Two. That's not right. My name is T. Sharp Bowman. I'm a junior here at Lane College and my major is sociology. Okay, so I have a trivia question here for you today. The question is, what is the Black Lives Matter's goals? A, being to shelter black people. B, being to make the education system more public to blacks. C, being the focus is to end police of brutality of, to black people. And D, being have full living of employment. I feel as if uh, it's answer number C, answer C, simply because uh, we're trying to protect black lives. As you know, the judicial system isn't always fair and stuff like that. So Black Lives Matter is to, you know, protect black lives, I guess. You are correct, sister. So the trivia question that I have today for you, sir, is when was the Black Lives Matters movement established? A, B, and in the 1982, B be in 2010, C be in 2013, and D be in 2017. Um, 2013. You are correct. You're correct. Which of the following is best seen as the origin of the Black Lives Matter movement? A being the killing of Michael Brown by a Ferguson, Missouri police officer, B being the killing of Trayvon Martin by a neighborhood watch coordinator, George Zimmerman. C being a NFL quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, kneeling during the national anthem, or D being Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s work during the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. C. That's wrong. 